not my grandson. As the king arrays Archie from the succession line, as Cory sent the palace DNA, to confirm his kid. The death of Queen Elizabeth II automatically set in motion conceptional shifts in the line of succession to the British throne. As according to the royal family's official website, the list now includes 23 members of the royal family, from Prince William and Lucas Tyndall, one of the Queen's great-grandsons. Prince William was second in line, but following the Queen's death, he is now first in line to inherit the throne. Prince George, the firstborn son of William and Kate Middleton, is now second in line. As his two younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, have become third and fourth respectively. Prince Harry is now fifth in line, prior to the Queen's death, and the birth of his nephews and niece. Harry has been third in line to the throne. The two children, Half Harry and Meghan Markle, are now sixth and seventh in line to the throne respectively. The new royal line of succession sparked some confusion over the titles that will be given to Harry and Meghan's children. But despite the update reflecting new titles, such as Prince William, now being referred to as the Prince of Wales, the children of the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex titles are simply referred to as Master and Miss on the royal website. Recently, there have been rumours that King Charles plans to remove Archie from the line of succession as the palace suspect that the child is not Harry's son. An unnamed source had said that Archie may be the kid of Canadian chef Corey Vitiallo, as the information hasn't been confirmed by the insiders. But Prince Harry allegedly took DNA tests last year to determine if Archie is really his biological son. According to the Globe, the first DNA test revealed that Prince Harry isn't Archie's biological father. And in the days leading up to Prince Harry's wife, Meghan, giving birth, the couple was stunned to learn a DNA test using ammonic fluid routinely performed on the royal babies, revealed that the redhead is not the child's daddy, as source had said. The insider claimed that Prince Harry had refused to accept the result of the test and was devastated, as the Duke of Sussex had allegedly turned ghastly white and Markle burst into tears in shock. A new book claims that Meghan Markle was still living with her then-boyfriend, Chef Cory Vitiallo, when she had went on her first date with Prince Harry. Meghan and Vitiallo's relationship began in 2014, as TMZ obtained an old photo of Meghan rather close to Vitiallo, as she appeared to be seated in his lap as he affectionately kissed her cheek. She also had her arms wrapped around his neck, and his arms were tightly closed on her waist. Author Tom Bauer writes that Meghan persuaded sensitive soul Van Venseloltz, Harry's childhood friend, to set her up on a blind date with the prince. The book also claims that two weeks after their first date, on July 1st, 2016, Harry secretly flew to Toronto as he strayed for about one week in the house of a friend of Meghan's, probably Jessica Mulroney. With Corey still sharing Meghan's home, the situation for Meghan was tricky but manageable. At the end of the week, after he returned to London, Meghan was convinced that a spell was cast on the relationship with Harry and it would be sealed. She had told Corey that their affairs were over and Bauer writes. As it is Meghan's messy relationship in the past that had sparked many rumours about the origin of Harry's son. But if it was true, King Charles would have no reason to keep the child's title. Before royal author Kate Nicole had revealed that the king could bar the children from taking up the prince and princess titles, or at least limit to how they use them. As she claims that he is waiting to see how the Duke and the Duchess have in the first few months of their reign before making any decisions about the children's titles.